Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the very first recording of Digital Tuesday. These are my references. I usually start off with the background, so I've just aligned where I want Pinocchio to be, and I do one Pinocchio standing on Geppetto's windowsill. I do want the wishing star in the back, so I do add that in. Once I'm done with the background, I start with the line art of the sketch that I did for Sketch Sunday. The link for that will be in the description box below. I don't have a method to which colour I use for line art. I just pick a colour and go with it. Also, later on I do set the line art layer to a multiply layer, which means that whatever colour I put behind it will influence the colour of the lines. And then I just go around outlining everything in the sketch. I do also erase lines that overflow, but I'm not very precise and precious about them connecting. I do then check to make sure that the sketch is in the correct space with relation to my background and then I go about adding shading on a different layer and later on I do lighten this layer so that the shading is lighter and then I merge my line art layer and my shading layer and I set both the now combined layer to multiply. So then I go about adding in the flat colours. Each colour is put on its own layer and then I do later lock each layer so that I can add individual shading to each layer. The layers are also somewhat ordered in that things that would appear behind something else would be put behind it in the colour order. I am using Sketchbook on a Samsung tablet and I do only use the technical pen when outlining and colouring in and I do sometimes use the spray paint to do shading. As you can see in terms of layers the cane's colour layer is above that of the coats because the cane is in front of the coats so even if the coats colour does bleed into the cane section colouring in the cane will then make that overflow null and void. If you're enjoying this process so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. As you can see I do change the colour of the outline layer just because the green wasn't working, it didn't look very nice. So I just changed that and I still don't have a method to what I change it to, I just change it to whatever looks nice. I do also always go about 
checking the overflow of different layers, especially when the layer is above another layer, just so that there's no unnecessary overflow that makes it look messy. And I do go back and tidy up over and over again, just because you don't always see the overflow the first time around. I don't color pick from the references, I do use them as a guide as to which colors I should use, but I don't color pick from them. So I know that the green of the patch is lighter than the green of the suit, and then the color of the patch does match the sash on the hat, so I do just use those guidelines to pick colors. Also, this is not the first Digital Tuesday that I've done, it is the 17th. I did not record the first 16 because I didn't know I wanted to be on YouTube. But if you would like to see those final products, you can find them on my Instagram. The link will be in the description box below. And as you can see, I'm just doing the final tidying up since everything has gotten its color. And now I am changing the color of Pinocchio's skin. I'm also adding a bit of shading to his arms, which I will then also lighten and add as a multiply layer. I'm just doing the final colors of the hat and also tidying up the outlines by raising the overflow, adding a bit of blush to his cheeks. Finishing up at the mouth. Checking how he looks with the background, noticing that once again there is some overflow, adding in some highlights which will be lightened, the opacity of the layer will change slightly, and then just fixing up the last of the outlines. I've also added my digital signature. And once I'm done tidying up all the outlines, the piece will be done. I 
thought I wanted to change the star, but I didn't. If you've gotten this far, thank you for spending your time with me. I do hope to see you again soon. Bye!